Hello and welcome to Secrets Untold, True Indian Crime Podcast. My name is Mohana and in this podcast series, I will be talking about different and unique little known cases which shaped laws of India. In today's episode, we will be talking about a murder of a ghost. Yeah, you heard it right. I will be talking about Urisa versus Ram Bahadur Thapa. It was about the year 1958. There used to be an old abandoned airport near Rajgovindpur, a village in Balasore district of Odisha. Two watchmen were engaged in the airport so that the vagabonds do not make their base there. That year, a businessman from Calcutta, Jagat Bandhu Chatterjee, along with his servant Ram Bahadur, came to Rajgovindpur. Chatterjee wanted to buy the airport land. For this, he had to spend a few months in the village. There were tribal villages around the airport in which people from Santal and Maji tribe lived. It was 20th May 1958. A person living in nearby village Chandramaji reached a tea stall at 9 pm where Chatterjee and Ram Bahadur were also present. In conversation, Maji told that he would not be able to go to his village tomorrow. When Chatterjee asked him the reason, he told that way to his home passes through the airport and ghost comes out there at night. Curiosity arose in Chatterjee's mind. He asked Maji to take him to see the ghost. Maji didn't had the courage to go. After this, Chatterjee requested the tea stall owner. The name of the owner was Krishna Chandra. He agreed to go along. After this, Chatterjee, Ram Bahadur, Maji, and Krishna Chandra, the four people, left for the airport in dark of the night. All four were 600 feet away from the airport, where Chatterjee stopped them all. He pointed forward towards with his fingers. Everybody saw the light that was visible at some distance. The wind was strong and it seemed as if many shadows of milky color were floating in air around the light. In his desperation and fear of ghost, Ram Badur blindly attacked the light. He didn't saw or registered what was happening around him. When Ram Bahadur carefully looked, he came to know that those who he was considering a ghost were some women of Maji tribe who were trying to plug mower flowers in light of the lantern. Ram Bahadur mistook them for a ghost and f- attacked them, in which one woman died and two women were injured. Woman was killed at the hand of Ram Bahadur. So the police came and Ram Bahadur was put in jail on charges of Section 302, murder, and Section 326, grievous injury. The case went up to session courts. When Ram Bahadur was released after a few months of trial, this is where the matter becomes more interesting. Ram Bahadur has committed a murder. Witnesses and evidence were also present. Although his intention were not to kill, still the murder took place. Even after the charges were proven, the session court let Thapa go. The court relied on Section 79 on IPC in this case. Section 9 is used as protective tool when a person has committed a crime, but in good faith. But what does this actually mean? Let's take an example. You are somewhere abroad. You saw a rat and you killed it. Now the law of that country says that rat is sacred for the people of the country and killing it is a crime. Now in this case, you can argue that you were not aware of such law. So in such cases, this principle says that it is your responsibility to know what the law is. This principle is necessarily because if any concession is given in such cases, then anyone can claim that he was not aware of the law and it is impossible to find out 
whether anyone is aware of the law or not another factor necessary to relieve the accused is that his or her state of mind genuinely failed to understand the real facts at hand it shows that the person did not had any intention of committing a crime and did it in a good faith after closely studying the facts the high court observed that thapa was nepali and that is why the only reliable reference for him were the people around him in this case his master chatterji was his guiding forces additionally he was a firm believer in ghost chatterji should have worked towards educating him out of this belief instead they were both adding rationality to his irrational belief the court took these facts into consideration and held that any person of thapa's mindset would react similarly to substantiate it argument her high court says that chatterji who is of superior intelligence also inferred for the lights and movement that there were ghost ultimately there were no reason for bahadur to believe that no ghost were there state then urged that thapa could have flashed the torch which make it clear case of acting without due care and attention the court did not agreed with it and held that he has zero doubt in his mind and that therefore his impulses did not allowed him to flash the light odisha versus bahadur thapa case is cited as one of the most and far between instances in which innocent under proven guilty principle was upheld till the final words of the judgment so that was the case of murder of a ghost i hope you all enjoyed it if you did please like share and subscribe and support my channel i will see you all on next thursday